person sees all. Hey, hi everyone. Thanks so much for taking the time to stop by the house. Let's go outside and see the car. We can't see the car. It's got a lot of snow on it. There was more snow that arrived after that. Kim trails full of sky again. Blocking out the sun, they say, eh? You think it's real? I bet it is. We have a spectacular moon video for you all, considering it was the full moon. First time since 2023. First, that's today's sun, that's sunspot 3245. And it's the one that I'm very afraid that is going to let off a so solar flare, geomagnetic storm, coronal mass ejection again. In the States, you guys see it more aligned with that big spot on the left there, more in the bottom, going from bottom to top. All around the world, we see the sun differently. And the only way of measuring its rotation is by viewing the sunspots. I did get some really nice shots of the sun. The sun started off this morning at a C6.03, something like that, as a class, C class. Now an M class 1.03, I think. Hopefully not another X flare coming up. There was two coronal mass ejections back to back with two X class flares. So you can see the fusioning coming up completely literally coming up out of the sunspots especially the 3245 there different ways of seeing it watch here just quite simply add um uh, sorry not add taking down the exposure so that we can see the surface everything is so blinding both the sun and the moon hey by the way i got the moon yesterday well we can say yesterday the fifth but in reality it's early this morning, the 6th, let's say, because I started filming at close to midnight. I was outside waiting for the longest time. There were clouds. Here's the sun turned around, the bottom upwards, so you can see the flares. And they're all over the, uh, the sun, right? On the edges, the sides, look at that. It's uh, scary. For those that don't know, well, leading up to 2025, solar maximum, and we're going to see a lot more sun activity. So get ready. We're going to see more earthquakes and we're going to see a lot more snow. Have you seen in California, St. Bernardino? Did I say that right? St. Bernardino, Dino and not Dido, on the moon, because that's where we're going. Remember I showed you this in the last video? But now this is right side up. It's the right side of the moon. Now watch what happens on the right side of the moon here. Don't worry about saying, oh, I can't see anything. Yes, you can. That's what I wanted you to see is that bar lifting up off the surface. If you have good attentive eyes, you'll even see that that bar lifting up off the surface on the top there is already coming on its way, lifting up. It's something flying under the clouds and then boom, comes upwards. And right when that happened, like I showed you in the last video, which I won't show you again, the UFO hits the ground or goes under that mysterious haze that a lot of people make a mistake with the actual surface we see towering objects coming up off the surface of the moon so it's definitely not um the surface that we're seeing right there's a lot of smoke cloud hazes that we see the full moon is today but more tonight i guess so it can be seen for three days the full moon before and after the full moon it looks full but now I'm happy I got it this way, just to say there's a tiny edge hours before the full moon, and we can see a lot more of the edges, because if not, the full moon, we don't see any elevation at all. Hope you enjoy it. Grab your coffees, your 420, your beer, wine, whatever is your thing, and I'll get some music up. I hope you enjoy today's moon that I filmed early midnight, March 6, 2023. Thanks for subscribing, guys, and thanks for being here. Throughout this video, you will see the exposure being adjusted often. And as I descend the exposure, you'll see that the white refractive surface and white objects that have the same reflectivity, those structures as the surface, will be a lot more visible. Thanks for watching.
So many people want to know the truth about exactly who and what is up there on the moon. All we have to do is open our eyes and believe. There's no filtering here that you're looking at. The exposure is adjusted, hardly even touched it, bringing it down just a little bit. Like I've been saying for the last six years, because it really does make the objects pop, makes the colors pop on the surface. Those that just arriving here and new subscribers, I thank you very much. This is CGXL 14 HD, high definition, 14 inch telescope from Celestron with a Nikon D850 up its ass, and look what we see.
Everyone, thanks for the generous contributions and thanks for watching the videos. Doesn't matter cause the disclosure's coming soon The disclosure's coming soon